it's Greg's Garage Time, and on this show, we take you back to West Virginia to get you more information about the Hatfield-McCoy trail system, including some cameos from my brother Jeff White and sister-in-law Gina White. We ride Honda CTX 700N around Southern California and give you the impressions. AMA Pro Racing's reigning number one Josh Hayes Skypes in to give us an update on the racing season. And there are some surprises for sure. We revisit the soon to be released Honda Grom. We have some cool news about Polaris' latest side-by-side -side offering, worldwide video and more. Buckle up, it's an exciting show. Hello everyone and welcome to Greg's Garage, the best power sports lifestyle show on the World Wide Web. In this show, we bring you stories about power sports fun, motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, etc. If you have any questions about the industry, the show, whatever, you can always send them to me at show at gregsgaragetv.com. I read them all. And don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Greg White. Facebook page, Greg's Garage TV. And on Instagram, which is instagram.com slash Greg's Garage. Okay, enough of that. Last week, we showed you the Hatfield-McCoy Trail System in Southern West Virginia an off-road paradise that spans so far over 600 miles. It's built for motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, and now one trail is for off-road trucks and Jeeps. We spent some time on the Little Coal River Trail, the most northern in the system. I get that some of you are geographically challenged, and you might think West Virginia is a long way away. But trail PR guy Mike Pinkerton has something else to say about that. So first of all, with West Virginia, a lot of people think that it's a long drive to get here, but really West Virginia is pretty centrally located on the East Coast. So whether you're coming from the Carolinas or you're coming from uh, like Columbus, Ohio or DC, it's really just about a three or four hour drive. A little further for folks coming from up north, New York and things like that, but we get riders from all over the East Coast to ride here at Hatfield McCoy. We have trail systems throughout southern West Virginia. so different trail systems are going to be closer to different folks. If you're coming from the north, Little Coal River is the shortest trail system for you. It's a short drive from Charleston, West Virginia. It's real easy to get to, four lane all the way. If you're coming from, say, the Carolinas, for example, our new Pocahontas trail system or End End Ridge are going to be the first ones that you come to. And they're conveniently about 30 minutes off of the turnpike. Now joining me on this trip was my sister-in-law, Gina, and my brother, Jeff. For New York City-born Gina, I asked her if she'd ever been to anything like this before. Never, ever. My husband's been here before uh, riding dirt bikes, and I had no interest in it because I don't ride dirt bikes, but I was able to enjoy, like I said, the T-Rex 4 and uh, enjoy the day with my husband and family, and it's just been awesome. And being a newbie to anything like this, I followed up with, have the trails been intimidating for you? Well, that's what I was worried about at first because uh, I thought it was just for experienced riders, but they have many trails and it can accommodate anybody from, from you know, novice, beginner, advanced, intermediate. Um, today we're riding and have been riding the little uh, Coal River Trail and that has just been perfect. It has all the challenges as it would as for an intermediate driver, but on a, on a beginner level and I just loved it. I've just been here before on a motorcycle and he is a big fan of the system. What I like about the Hatfield-McCoy trail system, the terrain is very diverse. Uh, if you're an expert rider, uh, there's something for you out here. If you're a beginner rider, there's something for you out here. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, rocks, water, mud. You can get dirty, you can stay clean, you can do whatever you want out here. It's a real great time. For those of you city dwellers and think, oh my, it's remote, it's in the sticks. I wonder about safety. Ranger Jeremy has the scoop. We go through the 911 center and we've got a fire rescue team that comes out and they come in with machines that's got the litters and everything on it and they can pick up people and take them out or we can bring in a helicopter if that's the case. How long has the system been open? How many people recreate on this trail system a year and then how many incidents has there been in the years? Uh, we've been open for 13 years. You know, we sell 35,000 permits every year and a lot of them come back more than one time a year so you never know how many is actually out on you know, this road all year. Uh, and we have one or two wrecks a week, some serious and some is not. Uh, we have a pretty good safety record. Uh, hardly anybody ever gets hurt, seriously hurt. 
so it's not too bad. So safety is covered, but what about making an adventure out of it? Where to begin? So for someone coming here to ride for the first time, uh, it can be a little bit of a, a big experience, but what we recommend is to get onto our website and to check that out. Uh, the rules and regulations are all on there, but basically uh, show up with a helmet. If you didn't bring a helmet, then we have one here to sell at our visitor center. Um, but, you know, the appropriate gear is always important. You want to be sure to wear long sleeve uh, shirts, uh, long pants, over the ankle footwear is something that we really recommend. And riding with a partner is another good thing. But you can show up at any one of our trailheads. You can buy a trail permit. You can get one of our maps. And our trails are so well mapped that pretty much anyone can navigate those trail systems. Everything's color coded by degree of difficulty so you know exactly what you're getting into ahead of time. And you can find the experience that's right for you. Well, I wanted to learn as much as I could about the trail system, and uh, the staff is extremely knowledgeable and very, very helpful. Um, and as an inexper inexperienced rider, it was great for me because, you know, they gave us maps, they gave us guidance, there's even rangers here, um, there's 90% cell phone range, so you got 600 miles of trail system, and you have all these resources available to you. So it just, you know, for me, it just made things a lot better. One of the great things about the Half and McCoy trail system is you meet a lot of people from a lot of different areas. We're out on the trail stopping maybe and having a water break. Some other people come up, guys on the quads, dirt bikes, side by sides, strike up a conversation, find out that, hey, this guy's from Canada, this guy's from Wisconsin, this guy might be coming up from Georgia. And you meet a lot of different people out here and it's a really, really good time. Not only are trail goers friendly, but so are the people of West Virginia. I'm originally from New York and right now I live in Connecticut. Um, so come down to West Virginia, uh, it's a little bit of a culture shock. Uh, the state itself is beautiful, I'm glad I got to experience it, but I can't say enough about the people. They've just been extremely hospitable, very nice, very different from where we're from. Um, no offense to the people up north and the northeast, but it is what it is. Um, that overall made this experience so much, so much better, so much better. Um, I didn't think that I would be getting in a side-by-side, -side, riding the trails of Hatfield and McCoy, um, but here I am, and I'm doing it, so anybody can do it, if I can do it. Well, the final word in this one goes to Jeff White. It was really great having uh, a family member come out here, um, spend some quality time together. The downside is I'm going to have to go buy me one of those Kawasaki T-Rexes now and it looks like we might be spending a lot more time together. <laughs> uh, looks like there goes guys weekend. 